What's up guys? I'm hoping this is, is one of the final swims that's gonna actually get us out of Lyme Regis Bay. As you can see, came out of Margate, which was around here. Everything was going swimmingly. Isle of Wight, picked up some great tides around there. Absolutely cruising. And it was around here where we passed Portland Bill. And the goal was to just swim directly across, which as you could see, as the crow flies, would have been pretty efficient but what happened in reality is it was about two o'clock in the morning trying to swim around there in complete darkness and the tides and currents were so bad they forced us into the bay so we could have come back out and tried again to cut across but there was no guarantee that it was actually going to work and we could have just wasted so much time just trying to swim out here so instead me and Matt decided just to suck it up basically swim all the way around hugging the coastline which is added so many more miles to the to the overall journey and then also as well i mean we were just eating waves constantly throughout here which you can see from the number of x's the x's are, are where i stop and feed and it's just so dense around there and it's only just now after four days of just eating waves that i can actually see light at the end of the tunnel Finally, we're out of the bay. The battle of the bay is won. It it was just like Mother Nature was going. You're not you're not going to move like right now. So that, and I think that was the thing. There was no there was no end in sight. You didn't know if it was going to finish or not. It actually goes back to what I learned from the Royal Marines when uh, I was training for strongman swimming and they told me, look, when you are suffering from extreme fatigue, you probably have the cognitive functioning, so like the mental capacity of a five-year-old. So you just need very clear instructions and you have very limited capacity for anything else. So you just need to focus on the task at hand. And for me, that is just putting one hand in front of the other. But after battling just waves and tides and just, and just being stuck in the bay, we were just blessed with the most unbelievable few days yesterday as we came out of the bay. Firstly, the Royal Navy decided to rock on over. They heard that morale was quite low and I was just basically taking a beating from Mother Nature. So they rocked on over. The uh, HMS Biter, HMS Charger, which were amazing, these kind of like, armoured navy ships just rocked and over. I got to go aboard, I got to chat to the guys about you know seasickness and, and kind of coping with uh, all sorts that the, the sea can throw at you. I was chatting to the Royal Navy on social media and, and morale is, is such a big thing that they preach so all jokes aside, I know this looks like fun and everything but we've already clocked up 10 miles today um, so this is just basically just a nice one, sort of wind down and I think like for all of a hundred days of this just motivation and actually just like stopping getting bored is going to be key so that's why as much as it just looks like a good laugh no no it is just a good laugh <laughs> <laughs> it is actually keeping up morale as well that's that's the theory as well yeah, how quick does this go from 22 knots so we'll increase to 20 knots about 25 seconds 20. right okay yeah <laughs> so we've got 10 meter race which they said they're going to be easy on me which is kind of them. Dom's gonna be the finish line. All right, let's have a good clean fight. <laughs> I was like, what that's for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a draw. 
I don't know. Your valiant effort. You're such a there we go. This is the uh, the tiger shark with the trident. So uh, I think it's quite quite a fitting crest to give you there. <laughs> Seriously, thank you no so much. No problem at all. That was, I reckon I made about half a mile going in the right direction. Oh, I reckon so. Yeah. We're gonna be on the like the Red Bull track, and they'll be yeah. like, whoa. Thanks so much. Thank you. Um, Okay, that was pretty awesome. Royal Navy just dropped me off uh, after my drag race. Needless to say, I came second. Ladies and gentlemen, you join us at a critical moment of the Great British Swim. Um, my neck is healed. I'm now a fully certified rhino neck. Check that out. Um, but as you know, me and the jellyfish aren't friends. Uh, my feud with them continues as a literal swarm. <laughs> What's going on, Ross? This is not pleasant. Which is why we've all consulted as a team. And well, Matt, Matt thinks he has an idea. Matt's, Matt's had a lot of ideas. This is up there with one of his best. I'm gonna let him explain. Really, it's a bit of cling film. Uh, with um, uh, sick legs on it. Um, anyway, we've moulded that to his face. We're going to take this snorkel device off now and then um, hopefully cut a breathing hole. And then that should fit his face. We're either going to stick it under his wetsuit hood or um, over the top. Like a Russian mafia twist. That's yeah. what you've done there. Yeah. Like Ninja Turtle slash Russian mafia slash. That is so sick. Mexican wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> Harriet claims that if she was paddleboarding, she'd stop and chat to this dude. <laughs> it's, like it's amazing. I actually think the blue is good. Huh? Do you want a pretzel? No, I've had one. It's hard to eat. Okay. You have to post it through there. <laughs> and, uh, you know, obviously this isn't... Uh... Okay. Well, okay. Most feared luchador wrestler in all of Cornwall. <laughs> 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 okay, that's it. We're going to redesign. <laughs> Guys, okay, this is a big moment in the Great British Swim. That is because this is the first time since Margate that I'm attempting to swim without duct tape or plasters. Just lube. <laughs> It's been an amazing week, clocked up many miles. Devon's been amazing, uh, but Cornwall has come out in force. I'm Ross Edgley, and this has been... The Great 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 Great